Hi there, my name is Liesl Darby and I'm a divorce coach. Today I want to talk about ways that you can have self-care as you go through divorce as well as beyond. Now, um, as anybody knows, divorce is always a stressful time <clears throat> and anything you can do to make yourself get through it more smoothly is always appreciated. So we're going to talk about three main areas here. We're going to talk about um, what you can do physically, um, mentally, as well as spiritually. And please know that each one can affect the other areas in your life. So even if you can't get all three perfectly all the time, even just addressing one part of it will have an effect on your life and the others. All right. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the physical the things you can do for yourself. And these are just basic. Um, of course, you want to always try to eat right. This is not the time just to have pizza every night. You can have it sometimes, but try to have something green in there as well. Eat a salad, um, have some soup, eat some yogurt, something healthy. That'll just help you get through this uh, a very stressful, stressful emotional time. Uh, you want to also make sure that you're exercising. And this doesn't mean you have to have hours and hours in the gym. Something as simple as walking can have a really big benefit. And especially if you can walk outside in nature, there's just something about being around other living things uh, that really kind of feeds the soul as well as grounds you. So that's, you know, always try to get some form of exercise every day. Even if you have to walk around the house, that still counts. The other thing we wanna talk about is sleep. And this is something many, many of us are very short on. And especially when you're so stressed about what you're doing um, through your divorce, it's very easy that you don't get any sleep at all. Sleep is very, very important though because it will affect your everyday life. So if you're not getting enough sleep, it can actually affect your work. And the last thing you need is to be worried about that on top of everything else. It can affect your mood. It can affect um, the way that you're thinking during the day. And this is a time when you're having to make some pretty good decisions that's gonna affect the rest of your life. So seven hours, if you can. So we're gonna talk about how do you get a handle on stress because that's one of the things that really affects sleep. And so I'm gonna move now into the mental part of this. One of the things you can do for yourself is a giant favor is get organized. One thing, you know, have a place where you put your keys every time when you come home. So you know where they are, you don't have to spend time looking for them. Uh, same goes for if you have um, your purse or your wallet. Um, make sure you have everything that you need for the next day before you walk out the door, whether that's for work or for school, um, just whatever you need, try to have that. And the other thing you can do is get a wall calendar, a big wall calendar that you can write on whenever you have court dates coming up, put whenever you have, um, whenever you need any deadlines that are coming up for court, as well as you can track your family's activities. You just have it where everybody can see it before you walk out the door. Just do yourself a favor. <laughs> it really goes a long way. Um, it's also good to be able to spend time with supportive friends and family. <clears throat> and the key word there is, is people who are supportive. All right. And, you know, your friends and your family want to be there for you as you go through this stressful time. But please be aware that there's also a limit to how much they can help you. The other thing you can do is to discover or rediscover things that you like. I know, you know, this might be the first time you get to have control of the remote. What do you like to watch on TV? Are there any things, are there any kind of like foods that you used to like that you don't make any, used to not make anymore because your ex didn't like them? Well, now, now you can make them for yourself, all you want. <laughs> but really take some time to just think about what do you like? What do you want to do? Maybe find a hobby or rediscover a hobby that you haven't picked up in a, in a long time. It's really... This is your time to pay attention to yourself and figure out who you are when you're not a part of a couple. And another thing you can do that will help you mentally is accept that the only person you have any control over is yourself. So please try not to worry about what your, your ex-spouse is doing, what they're thinking. Only control what you can do. And this even goes down to the way that you communicate with each other. Even if maybe up to this point, you guys have only been able to scream at each other, not been productive. If you make a few simple changes for yourself and how you communicate, it will have a ripple effect on how it, how this whole dynamic goes. Uh, let's talk a little bit about spirituality here. One of the best things you can do for yourself is to meditate. 
And I'm not talking that you have to sit for a half hour, an hour in silence, you know, clear thoughts, nothing like that. Even as something as simple as just a minute of focusing on your breathing. And maybe do this before you even get out of bed because it can set the tone for your the rest of your day just by breathing in and out. And if a thought comes into your head, just observe it and let it go. And it does take practice. That's why it's called a meditative practice. Like I said, maybe doing this first thing in the morning will be helpful. And also if you wanted to do it right before you went to bed, that's also helpful too, to help you get a good night's sleep. Um, let's see what else. Uh, oh, the attitude of gratitude. If there's one thing that I always tell people will be, give you the best bang for your buck is having an attitude of gratitude. We all have a filter in how we look at life. If you can do something as simple as find five things a day that you're grateful for, and they can be simple things, um, and write it down. Keep an attitude of gratitude journal. And before you go to bed, write down the five things during that day that you were thankful for. And it can be something as simple as, um, you know, I had a really great smoothie for lunch. I really appreciated that. I was hungry. It was quick. It was, it was simple. I was able to pull that off because <laughs> sometimes that's, that's your biggest win of the day as you go through this. So again, an attitude of gratitude is wonderful. And then one of the things that is a little bit harder, but you want to eventually be able to get to this is forgiveness. Now remember, forgiveness is a gift that you give to yourself. And it doesn't mean that you condone the actions of, the, of your spouse, soon to be ex-spouse. It just means that you don't want to carry that baggage around with you anymore. And you're going to put it down. Because it's like drinking that cup of poison. It's <laughs> You're not going to hurt that person by drinking it. You're only going to hurt yourself. And that's a big challenge. It's not easy, especially if there were things like infidelity involved in, in the that caused the marriage to fall apart. That can be a huge challenge, but there are ways to get there. And I just, uh, I always include that because it's such a big piece. And if you can't get to that right away, the other part is to just accept that this is where you are. And again, you can't control the other person. You can only control yourself. So I just want to remind people, you don't have to go through this by yourself. I'm a divorce coach. I can help people through this process. Uh, from beginning to end or anywhere in between as well as beyond. Um, divorce is an ending, but it's also a beginning. And I take people from devastation to dancing. You can find out more at www.mydivorcediva. You can email me at liesel, that's L-I-E-S-E-L, -E at mydivorcediva.com. Or you can call me at 419 787 0600 to schedule a complimentary 15 minute session just to see if I would be of any help to you as you go through this new phase of your life. Thanks so much and have a great day.